In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at seven sailing seamanship secrets to help keep you and your crew and small sailboat safer throughout the new sailing season. When piloting, try to visualize how landmarks and coastal features will appear based on your nautical chart. To do this, learn how symbols and abbreviations are shown on your nautical chart by chart number one. Realize that paper charts give greater detail than electronic charts and better orientation. Use both types for the safest navigation. Know the green light zone on your sailboat. Your green starboard side light covers an arc of visibility from dead ahead to about 22 and a half degrees abaft your starboard beam. Any vessel that you sight inside your green zone has the right of way or is the stand on vessel according to the navigation rules. You are obligated to stay out of their way to avoid the risk of collision. Schedule night sails to build your confidence you'll often find calmer winds and less boat traffic. Keep roller furling Genoas partially furled or use a smaller head sole with a higher clue. That way you can see ahead and to leeward to avoid other boats or obstructions. Slow down in shallow water two times your draft or less. Even if your keel clears the bottom, steering will become more sluggish in shoal water. Slower speeds give you more positive control. Carry a spare tiller on a tiller steered sailboat, that way you can replace a broken tiller in just a few minutes. If you use a wheel, carry an emergency tiller designed for your sailboat. Make frequent inspections of wires and quadrants on wheel steered sailboats. Keep your steering gear in top shape for peak performance. Learn the basic skills to steer your boat under sails alone without the rudder. Practice this in an open area. First, you want to learn how to steer your boat in a straight line. Lock the wheel or lash the tiller amidships. Pick a point in the distance ahead of the boat to steer on. To head up toward the wind, ease the headsail sheet and trim the main sheet. To fall off the wind, ease the main sheet and trim the headsail sheet. Watch commercial fishing skippers dock and undock their boats. This is one of the best ways to learn docking and maneuvering on your own sailboat. No matter the type of boat, approaches in line handling are similar. You'll often see quiet communications and flawless line handling at its best when you watch these masters of docking and maneuvering in close quarters. Now you know seven ways to make sailing or cruising safer throughout the sailing season. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.